Hey guys, it's Dan from Gumshoe Lacrosse here. Uh, today I have a review of the Evo 4 high school spec. Uh, just picked this up the other day and planning on using it as my gamer. Sprung it up with East Coast Dyes Hero Mesh. Um, so let's just get into it. For the Evo 4, it's I have the Evo 3 here and I'll show some of the biggest differences. This is starting up with Stranking 2S for any of you wondering. So, there's in the new line of Evo, in the new head, they haven't changed up too much. As you can see, there's a little bit more flare up here in the Evo 3 compared to the Evo 4. I think it's a little bit more gradual here where they really a little bit more flare, but the face shape is generally the same. They took away that dual shot mode um, mold in the EVO 3 that was kind of annoying for a lot of people um, right here where kind of it could break here and everything where they took that away in the new EVO 4 same uh, great face shape same sidewall design pretty much um, and they, the nice thing that they did do in the EVO 4 is I'm not sure if you can see here zoom in a little bit but they carved out some of the sidewall here to reduce weight, which really makes it a light head. Um, whereas in the Evo 3, they did not carve it just flat here. Uh, so that, they really reduced weight that way, which I'm a really big fan of. Um, in terms of one thing that I did not like was the top of the head. I f I'm not sure if they made it wider or what, but I feel like in the top of the head, it's so wide up here, even in the high school version, that the mesh, when you're pulling it down, creates this tight tennis racket type feel, which makes it hard to catch up here because it's kind of, it's so stiff and um, tight up here that the ball doesn't quite roll in like I would like it to. So that's definitely a downside to the head. Um, but it has that really nice gradual flare, which I like, so it makes it easy to uh, make a nice low, mid-low pocket down here where it's pinched and it gradually gets up. Um, beautiful design on Warrior's part, keeping it everything pretty much the same. Has a, so in terms of string holes, that's another big difference. In the original, or er, in the Evo 3 here, there was kind of limited stringing options. You had to do a lot of ones and twos uh, to get your pocket down. Um, but that's one thing they really revamped here in the Evo 4. As you can see, there is many stringing holes going down. Um, so you can really customize your pocket. I ended up doing all SIs down uh, the bottom half of the head. Um, but you can really customize your pocket that way which is a huge difference in terms of stringing. And um, yeah, so that's the review of the Warrior Evo 4. Uh, comment, subscribe for more. Check out my blog at gumshoelacrosse.com and uh, check out our Instagram page at gumshoelacrosse. Thanks. See you next time.